What's up everybody, episode 3 of Becoming a Strong Man featuring Harry Me. the Hurricane Stoltman. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, please give this video a like, drop a wee comment and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So today is events day again, we've got log, we've got frame, we've got dumbbell, we've got stones, we've got sandbag, we've got blah 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 blah. You will see what happens in the video, so enjoy it. We're going to go back in, it's freezing, it's about minus 10 here today, so yes, let's go train. we'll see you. At the bar. This is episode three of my training and, well, our training, becoming a strong man. Today I'm going to do three sets of three, 90 on the on the log, and that should be a decent weight uh, for me. And then while the boys are doing dumbbell, I'm going to do some accessory stuff just to, just to keep warm while I'm waiting for them. And then it's up to the warehouse and do the frame. Got sandbag over the yoke and stones to finish, so should be good. How many for your workout time? So I'll do the first event. I won't. So the first event is log press, two sets of two up to 190. So we'll see, let's see how I feel. And then 190, I think, is uh, max weight we're going. So. So it's just done in the metal log and we go up to 1.30 in the metal log. Then we do a warm up um, 
switch the warm-ups to the wooden log which is 140 kilos so we'll do 140, 160 working weight I think around 180 today for us hopefully going up over 200 kilos today that's the plan for me so when that, was the last time we went up to 200? Uh, last week okay. no big deal <laughs> it's just, just a common occurrence really isn't it if we're not pressing 200 then do you even strongman brah I'm only joking because my dead was really bad so How'd your warm ups go, bro? Warm up? So I'm still warming up, man. <laughs> yeah, we're good on the metal log. A few more warm ups to go on the log, and the wooden one, and then start club law. It's time to work. That was good, uh, worked up a sweat, 3 sets, 3 reps at 90 this week, the full clean and press just to just to get that form down you know. Last week I wasn't training, had the, had the flu or whatever, the Rona took me out for a week, um, there was no training last week, that was, that was a bit annoying, that kind of set me back a wee bit and had no appetite, lost, lost almost 3 kilos last week, just not eating, just building it back up now this week, yeah. And luckily I've not lost too much of the strength, it's all going well. And it feels getting easier as you're doing it more mm -hmm. often. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely easier. Hopefully put the weight up next week. Uh, just keep building that. I'm just noticing my hands are a little bit slipping the log, so with the 180, when I had it up here, my hands were slipping, so it's just something to, to look out for. 190 felt really nice. I'll go 200 next. Hopefully that'll feel good. I'll kind of change that up. Apologies, Dan. Dan said to do a double at 190. We did quite heavy squats yesterday. I'm not feeling doubles today, so my apologies, Dan. But maybe I can do a cheeky little heavy single for you and then all will be good in the world again. Got on my quad and tanks them on, jeez. Come on. 
I was just doing squats last night and my legs just feel a wee bit drummed. The press doesn't feel right, it's just put it all over the place, pressing it out a bit. It's the first time I've had one heat on my chest in like since August, September last year, so I'm happy with one single. I'll try another one after Luke does his and see what happens, but it is what it is, you know. I'm not too bothered. I'm feeling the doms today, that's all I can say like that. So guys, log done. I was meant to hit a few singles at 190 today, but I hit one. I'm happy enough with that. A long week and a very heavy squat session on yesterday was has taken out of me. Couldn't really feel the press in my legs. I was a bit all over the place at the top, as you've seen, pressing in front, pressing behind. You know, I was getting it off my chest, but it was just the last bit. But um, apart from that, it's all good. So um, I'm happy enough. You know, 190. Well, I know when I'm fresh is going to go, so I got one rep of it, which I'm happy enough with. Next week, two reps maybe, and then the last prep before I know is 200, so yeah, all good, all good. Now we go on to the dumbbell. I went up to 210, not quite there today. Feel the weight, 200 felt really nice. I did 200 last week, it was a lot of a bit more of a struggle than that, so um, again, the progression's there. So, happy with how things are going this week. We're now moving on to dumbbell, so we've got the 80 kilo dumbbell, 100 kilo dumbbell, and then 117. So hopefully get up to the 117, do a few reps with that. Job done for pressing and go up to the warehouse and finish off the events up there. And how was the grip shirt helping you as well? The grip shirt was really good actually. So I'm going to try it for dumbbell, see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be okay. I'm not too sure because it takes me a little second to get it into place. So as long as it's not um, hindering uh, me getting the, the dumbbell into place on my shoulder, it should be fine. If it is a hindrance, then I'll switch to my cotton. Stolen strength t-shirt, obviously. For log, really good, the grip shirt, really surprised at how much um, the clean just felt effortless today, so that was really good. We'll see how dumbbell goes. <coughs> Heavy, it's your technique. It's not if you listen when you're pressing, you're going like that, so it's going away from you. Yeah, that's what I say, it's too heavy when I'm holding it here. I literally but, my sides and triceps are going down. I don't know what to say, but again, it's it's not too heavy because you've done it before. But when you're pressing it, if you're just going like that, you're trying to like you did it the first press of that dump at 80, you're trying to like do too much, I think. I've done that up for Wells and Rogue and it worked out every time. I hit a 130 dumbbell at Rogue.
not too heavy. Easy. <laughs> so that's our pressing events done. The log was okay, dumbbell, it was okay. I did a couple sets. Like, it's annoying because dumbbell, if you're a little fragment off, you just can't control the lockout. So my second rep, the last set, press was really easy, but I just didn't control it. So, um, still a couple sets with two to three reps is okay, I'm happy enough with that. Yeah, excited to you know, get out to Arnold's and see what we can press with a, a big one, you know, I think um, if I get three reps with it, I think that's doing really well, it's going to get me really good points. Logs going up every week, which is nice. Squats going well, frame carry, we're going to go up and do some frame carry now. Some stone lifting, or the big sandbag lifting as well, so we're going to see how that goes. Yeah. See how things go. Obviously we've got Britain's Strongest Man before that to prep. That's going okay, the training for that. And then, yeah, the big one. Arnold's Arnold Classic. I'm yeah, pretty excited for that one. As you can see from our training, you know we're training really hard for both competitions. I know a few of you guys have said that we should concentrate on one competition, but um, we don't feel that we need to do that. So What is the reasoning? Is there any um, the reason is because because they're two really big competitions. Britain's Strongest Man is our local competition. Um, to be the strongest man in Britain is really, really important. Um, ov obviously, we've got a really good relationship with Giants Live as well, so um, I think we feel the need to honour that as well. The Giants Live, Colin and Darren have done so much for us um, over the years. You know, they've given us you know countless chances to prove ourselves in these Giants Live shows, and um, they are you know the best indoor arena shows in the, in the world. So. Going to Sheffield for Britain's Strongest Man is really important for Tom and I to do really well. But then we think with our recovery, our training, we can kind of come in fit for Arnold's and really put on a good display there. Um, fortunately, Arnold's is over two days, so it's not a all out for one day. So we've got that two days to kind of to kind of go for the event. So yeah, really excited for it. And then we'll make a call after Arnold. I'll see how I'm feeling. Um, for, for the rest of the, the kind of run up to world's, to world's Strongest Man. I've got to listen to my body and see if my body can take another competition in between Arnold's and Worlds, and if it can't, as I've said, World's Strongest Man for me is the, the biggest competition in the world. Tom won it last year. Both Tom and I are really hungry for that title, and I won't do any other competitions if I feel that my body can't handle it. Simple as. It's purely my choice. I don't owe it to anyone to do a competition if I don't want to, so. We will see how it goes. Listen to your body, guys, because only you can tell if your body's struggling. That's my advice to you all. So let's go up to the warehouse and get some events done. How did your dumbbells go, man? Well, another dumbbell session, another crap dumbbell session, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, I'm not dwelling on it anymore because it's obviously dumbbell is my biggest weakness, you know, for, you know, I did a decent dumbbell at Rogue, but then I still mucked the dumbbell up on Worlds and I was training for it. It's just. I think stopping the dumbbell after getting so good at it and then trying to get back into it's messing me up. But yeah, I know dumbbell is my bo bogey event at the Arnold's, but everything else is fine for me. So even if I get one rep at the Arnold's, I'll be buzzing. You know, at the end of the day, one a 110k dumbbell before Rogue was my PB and I hit the 130 and I only did 110 in the gym. So, you know, we've got 100 and then the Rogue one's now 117. 117 for me is too much right now in the gym, but hopefully I can get the 100k nailed and just keep going up rep wise with it. But yeah, it is what it is really, you know. Britain's strongest man is first for me, I'm gonna go all out on that and then 
go to the Arnolds and still give it my all now, you know. But like I always said, World Strongest Man's the pinnacle of the sport, and that's where I want to be fit for. I've said it locally, and I've said it to a lot of people that you know I'm going to do Britain's Arnolds Worlds the first half of this year, and no, no other competitions till after June. So big love, and we'll see you soon. What you got there? Stoltman Highland Games 2022. Hey buddy. Oh, my big car's at the garage, so I'm using my spare car. Let's see if I can fit in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch the sandbag so it stops it from going in this wet water. Up in the warehouse, thankfully it's not snowing. We are doing some sandbag for height today, our uh, first up here. Uh, so it's not very nice, we're gonna try and get it done quickly. Probably frame, maybe just do some heavy frame pickups. There's a few guys working in the warehouse. Maybe come out, open the door and do some Longer runs with a shield, some heavy kind of sandbag to shoulder, and then some stones. That's it. Happy? Mm -hmm. Let's get it done. Ten seconds ago, Luke said it wasn't going to snow. Ten seconds later, <laughs> it's snowing. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Do you even know what that means? I hate this weather, no. I don't know half the things mean. It's not snowing, it's a conspiracy. Let's try and get clear of that wet patch, right? Mm -hmm. Just uh, try and throw as far as you can. Mm -hmm. Be like I do everything. It's not for height, it's for distance. Do you ever feel like the weather sets back your training at all? No. So what's the point? If I thought like that, oh, that's just another excuse. We don't make excuses because excuses are the start of failure. So this is what we're blessed with. In Scotland the, the climate is very unpredictable at sometimes so if it snows we have to train if it's glorious weather really hot we have to train if it's pissing or rain we have to train so it is what it is <laughs> you welcome monkey just do some i just hit the handle so luke's not gonna build have a good <laughs> look at this do you know how much do you know how much one of these sandbags sandbags are like 150 dollars What better things are there to do on a Friday? Absolutely nothing. You got a Tommy fact? Tommy fact, when sand gets in the wet, it weighs more. For this last one, I'm going to work in my precision, my aim. So Gabs is going to stand and try and catch it. I don't want him to move, just want him to catch it like that. So hopefully my precision is on point. Jesus. Oh, good shot. Nice. But now it's getting serious because it's snowing plus the wind, so like... Have you ever done a keg toss or a sandbag toss outside in snow and wind? This is getting extreme games now. Mouth garden for safety. At the warehouse it's uh, really cold and snowy and wet. So I'm going to be doing sandbag over the yoke uh, for three sets of five I think it is. Going to warm up with a hundred and then go up to the one, two, five. And then it's on to frames after that. We are going to do a Q&A, um, put a post up on Instagram where you can ask questions for myself. Um, so keep the questions coming and we'll do it probably next week. Some sandbag for, for a hike done. As you can see, it got a little bit snowy. I was a little bit 
premature as always in my uh, weather prediction. So we did what we could do there. Felt actually okay. That was that was a lot better than last week. Uh, my throws felt a lot smoother, which was good. Uh, the last couple of weeks, my shoulders have been really pumped up after uh, log and dumbbell, but today they felt a lot better. So we're going to go on to. I think Harry is going to do sandbag over yoke, um, and then Tom and I are going to do some pickups to mimic the. Um, a natural stone to shoulder out in the Arnolds and then I think we'll probably do some heavy uh, frame pickups and then we'll do some shield carries and, and see where we're at there might ask the guys to move their pickup and stuff and <laughs> see if we can get some runs done in here so so we'll see we'll just make do with what we can do how many reps you doing? there's three threes how much something uh, 125 oosh mm -hmm. Really good. We say it's 125, but I think it's probably a little bit heavier than 125. We weighed it, it was like 135 or something, I think. And it looked really good. Um, well, Tom's got something for Harry. Hercules. Oh wow, I'm going to put that up on, on my wall. <laughs> We're twenties. <laughs> Who's who? Here, though. Who's who? I need the beard back. So, what, 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 <laughs> right? Watch this round. Right? Who's who? Right? Right. right, turn this way. <laughs> Three, two, one. Who's who? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, what would you say is the hardest part about being a strongman, bro? Don't know, I'm not a strongman yet. <laughs> <laughs> but recently, like, is it training? Is it nutrition? No, it's eating, huh? yeah. yeah. Trying to get trying to get the meals in and the calories in, that's what I find is the, the hardest. How many meals are you on just now? It's like, what is it? Five, yeah. It's like three main meals and then two, you know, snacks. But they're like decent sized ones, you know? Uh, don't go on calories, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. So everyone asks you how many calories they're on, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so guys, we're going to do uh, samba to shoulder. It uh, replicates the natural stone. Natural stone's really brutal on the body, so we're just going to use this just to be, so we can save the shoulders and, you know, be uh, much fitter for when we go to the event. So yeah, it's just, we're going to try and work up to maybe one, seven, five or whatever the sandbag is and see what happens. So. when Bay asks you to take the shopping in. Oh my days. Oh, well, it's Friday. I'm not having a good Friday. Like, it's been a long week, boys. I'm wearing a glove like Ben is. Hey, Ben. Remember we're wearing gloves together. Oh. How are you looking at them? Oh, they're no bad. Uh, not too shabby at all. What's the difference between this and the outs then? In this terms of technique? Basically the same. Stop, you're grabbing the sandbag like you are a stone, putting it onto your lap and redoing it. It's exactly the same, but just a different object. If you, if you practice with a sandbag and then transfer it to a stone, you do the exact same technique with a sandbag. The only thing that's different is obviously you don't put your stone under your feet, but everything else is you know, the same. 
straight arms pick up on your lap, wrap it back over and squeeze it up. Simple things, yeah? What weight are we up to now? Oh, 300 kilos it feels. Um, I think it's about just under 180. Love this. This one, my dumbbell one, uh, I tried that session, but the 117 hit my shoulder and I can't move nothing. I ain't trying it, like, we're inside and it's snowing. What a disaster. I don't know, I'm laughing, I just see that. <laughs> Have you ever shot yourself while doing this? It was close there. <laughs> <sighs> that was actually good, that's the first time I've done that sandbag, so yeah, to do it for a double felt okay actually, so I remember to use my hips. I'm the best log cleaner, or the best clean in the world, so if I can utilise that into the like in a tombstone pickup, then it'll be good, so. Yeah, I felt actually okay today, so that was nice. This session's been a disaster for me today. Uh, like I said, dumbbells, my bogey event, and I don't know if they call it, but I tried a 170 and it just smashed down on my shoulder. There's no power in my left shoulder now. And also I cleaned it up onto my left side as well, and I just felt a pain and I, there's no point doing it anymore, you know? Um, it's very brutal what we're doing now, training, training for Britons and Arnold's, and I mean, my frame's been going good, my stone to shoulder's been going good, my stones have been going good, so I'm just gonna sit this one out, you know? Um, not worried about anything else, so it's uh, yeah, my, my, my shoulder took a beating, so it's uh, it's sore. So. That's Harley done his sandbags 125, mm -hmm. three sets of three, really easy. Um, we are now going to go on to um, we're going to do heavier frame pickups today, just trying to adapt to, to kind of the environment that we're in. The floor's a bit wet and stuff, so don't want to be slipping and breaking our neck. Yeah, yeah. So we can work on our grip, I think, for. For me personally, if my grip, um, it sounds very stupid, but my grip improves and I can hold that 400, then I can do a really good time. Um, so I kind of look to pick up around 380 kilos or so today and do some holds with it. What, what are you going up to? Uh, I'm sure, I'll just, I'll just keep adding the weight. Yeah. yeah, cool. Just to gauge it. Guys, so we're kind of halfway through uh, our frame pickups. Just a little special thank you for everyone that is buying our merchandise. Um, we've got the Stoltman Strength t-shirt, the pink t-shirts that Tom and Harry are wearing. 
we've got all the hoodies and stuff, but it does mean an awful lot to us. So thank you to each and every one of you who's buying our merchandise. We are waiting on the shipment of the new Lumberjack shirts of the different sizes. The spicy t-shirts will be coming back in. Um, and as we've talked about um, on a previous video, we've got um, different athletes as well. So the website is done. I think we've agreed on a name. We'll release a new name of the website very soon. So again, thank you very much. Keep buying our merchandise. We love you. <laughs> we agreed on the name. You excited? <laughs> I like. <laughs> Just watching. <laughs> that looked pretty apex. What does that mean? It means the best, the pinnacle, the climax. How hard is it? 3, 3 20, 3 30, something I want to do like a little 10 second hold on this one. I think um, Mateusz, he did uh, the frame carry in Arnold's. It was about seven seconds, which is still a little bit heavier than this, but just to get into that way of thinking of holding on for over the, the length of time. Mateusz is obviously a very good frame carrier. Um, so if I go for about 10 second hold, I think that'll be a decent time at the, the Arnold's. I might do a minute, who knows. I didn't pull my pants, which was nice. <laughs> frame done, we did frame holds, went up to, I think it was 280. Not exactly sure what the weight of the frame is. I think it's 40, but we'll just say 280. Felt decent, and then Luke, he did really well. 10 second hold, and now it's stones. Three fives for me. Are you enjoying Jenny with Luke, yeah? Mm -hmm. And Tom, yeah. And Tom. Unfortunately, Tom's got a sore shoulder, but um, uh, it's been really good, really enjoyed it. Hard. It's good. Forty-one sixty, and then 
Uh, maybe the 180 just to try. Yeah, very good. It's 120, so it should be good, shouldn't it? I've just got a message from Atlas Endurance, so our new stones are ready, so I can't wait to get them. Hopefully, we might be going to a different place for Strongman events as well, which would be really good. A little bit more cleaner and warmer, which would be much better. So that'll probably be after Britons and Arnold's will move there. I'll go into plan. It's not guaranteed yet, but yeah, like I say, I'll go into plan, it will, and um, so stay tuned for that, so that'll be pretty cool. A new place, new uh, kind of warehouse area, but cleaner, like I said, which will be much appreciated because this isn't very nice. <coughs> back of my head but <laughs> that's what it is. Harry's going to feed me the stones up to 160, 180 to see how it feels and then um, Tom will knock them out the way just trying to get this treacle back. Jesus. Just twist it. Just keep twisting it. Like twist it. Twist it one way. There you go. Keep twisting it. There you go. Keep twisting it. <laughs> I can't do the food. There you go. I need six. That was all right. That is not a good day for me. <laughs> Stones. I'm happy with that. It's done. Yeah, buddy. This is a PB. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the fourth time doing stones. Twice. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Well, it's fine, bro. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what the hell? I want, easy, bro. I want to keep something in the tank, like. You've been good, another one. That was easy, bro. <laughs> another one. It's easy that didn't finish your workout. <laughs> I've got a reason for that. <laughs> Are you impressed? It's alright, isn't it? <laughs> Are you scared that he's going to go off your stone no, tail? I'm fine. I would have doubled that. You look a bit worried, Tom. I'm very worried. <laughs> that was good. It's 160 stone. Easy bro, easy. Jordan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Smashed it, Harry did, yeah, really good. Nice to see him, that one's 60. Yeah, that's a, that's a good stone for Harry to hit. Um, certainly in, in this kind of stage in his um, strongman journey. So once we get the clean stones, once we get the new place, it's um, a bit more optimal, um, the conditions will be, so he'll smash it. Um, he's gonna be really good. Gabs, my assistant, is now lathering me in paint stripper. Another session done. Hopefully you enjoyed the content and you want to see some more. Finished off with stones. Got a PB, which I'm delighted about. Uh, 160 stone. So, yeah. Training to become a strong man. Part 3. Already a PB. 160 kilo stone. That sounds pretty apex. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Apex. 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 There you go.
How's oh, your shoulder? I'm, I'm just a, I'm a Jesse, as you say, you know. Hey, <laughs> Tom, I'll be back next week, stronger. That's how I train, but I perform in comps. So that's the main thing. Stay, smile, stay safe, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling. Ding 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 ding. <laughs>